what's good e-bikers. So there's a potential ban on e-bikes happening in the state of New Hampshire. And I need your help here to help fight this because I think it's a bogus law that um, is overreaching and uh, is going to change the game here for anybody who owns an e-bike in the state of New Hampshire or anybody who goes to New Hampshire, like me. I go there every summer up to the Lakes region. Uh, it's my cousin's house, and uh, I do the Northern Rail Trail. I do the trail in Franconia Notch. And uh, this bill would prevent me from doing those rides. Uh, and we need to uh, make our voices heard uh, about bills like this because it's total overreach on this person, this uh, representative's part um, that uh, they're proposing. So uh, I've got the link here. I'll read it to you in a second. There's also a link here to go and uh, make your voice heard. So I'll put links to all this in the uh, video description. Make sure you do that. Even if you don't go to New Hampshire, uh, go here and fight for your right as an e-biker because we don't want other states doing this. And uh, we definitely have to have our voices heard here. So here's what the uh, the bill says. Uh, it's an act related to, uh, relative to electric bicycles, electric scooters, and electric unicycles. I'll try and make this a little bit bigger here for you. Um, the bill modifies the requirements for the operation of and equipment required for all classes of electric bikes requiring the, the division of motor vehicles to now develop procedures for registration of electric bicycle and requires that electric scooters and electric unicycles be regulated as motor vehicles. What? You're telling me a one wheel is going to have to be regulated as a motor vehicle? Give me a break here. Um, here is what the bill says. It's only a two-pager, essentially. Um, so let's see here. Any class of electric bicycle capable of speeds of 15 miles an hour or faster with the assistance of electric motor and battery shall not be operated on any sidewalk, bike path, or rail trail. Okay, that's the first thing there. I understand sidewalk, right? That's a, a kind of a basic rule that you know, you know, I think everybody knows about, but you won't be able to operate anything that goes over 15 miles an hour on a bike path or rail trail. Uh, it has to be subject to all motor vehicle laws and uh, rules and regulations of the road. Okay, that seems fair. An electric bicycle or person operating electric bicycle shall be not subject shall not be subject to the provision of this title relating to financial responsibility certificates of title. So there's no fees associated with this, from what I understand. Uh, an electric bicycle is not a motor vehicle for these purposes. Okay. On and after January 1st, 2020, uh, manufacturers and distributors of e-bikes shall apply a label that's permanently affixed. That's that usually those little labels, class two. Know, class one, two, or three that have to appear on the e-bike. That's fine. Uh, you're not supposed to tamper with a modified electric bicycle so as to change the motor-powered speed or capability. Okay, well, that's uh, that's an issue right there. Another as well. I mean, a lot of these bikes, you can go into the settings and make those changes. Um, you know, this is what they're putting in place here, they're trying to put in place, are basically a lot of the laws that Europe has. And we don't want to be Europe here in terms of the e-bike uh, community here. Uh, so we have to fight this. Um, a bicycle sh e-bike shall comply with the equipment and manufacturing requirements for bicycles adopted by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Okay, that's fine. Um, it shall operate in a manner so that the electric motor is disengaged or ceases to function when the rider stops pedaling. That's basically what they all do. You can have to have a, a headlight, which illuminates 200 feet, a red tail light, which is visible 150 feet. Most e-bikes have that, not all. Speedometer, which displays the speed to the operator. Most e-bikes have that, not all. Uh, you're not be able to, if you're under 16 years of age, you can't operate any class of e-bike. Uh, that's going to be an issue because there are already kids, you know, 10, 12 years old or any e-bikes today. Uh, Hemingway just came out with a bunch of e-bikes for, for, for kids. Um, no person less than 18 years of age may sit as a passenger on an e-bike unless you wear a properly fitted and fastened bicycle helmet. What else? Um, and that's basically it here. So the, the real issue I have with this is the rail trail stuff and the bike trail and the bike pass. Uh, I go to New Hampshire specifically to use bike pass, right? Uh, these are, this is a, uh, they're going to lose money here uh, in terms of vacationers and things like that. E-bike rental companies. Um, you know, e-bikes help people go farther, faster. They increase mobility and accessibility for riders. 
It's about reducing transportation on the road, car, you know, cars and things like that. By the way, New Hampshire roads. So basically, what they're doing here with this with this bill, they're forcing you as an e-barker to use the road. And if you've ever ridden in New Hampshire, there's there's very little shoulders there. Uh, a lot of the roads are like 40 miles an hour and higher because they're kind of back roads out there. It's not safe riding on New Hampshire roads, which is why you should let them uh, ride on bike paths and rail trails. Um, I don't understand the rules here, these rules trying to ban e-bikes from rail trails. When I go to the uh, Franconia Notch Trail, for example, there is a sign there at the beginning of the trail. It states, uh, any bicycles cannot go faster than 15 miles an hour. That's the only um, rule you need to have on bike pass. You just set a limit, a speed limit. It shouldn't matter what kind of bike, e-bike you have or bike. Uh, you just, you should obey the rules of the road, be careful around pedestrians, you know, go 15 miles an hour or less on any kind of bike path like that. That's totally fine. I'm totally in, in agreement with that. And I do that today. I'm a very conscientious writer out there. But our, a, a law like this is going to basically, it's almost a blanket ban on e-bikes because uh, every e-bike sold today is a is a class one e-bike that goes 20 miles an hour. All right, there are very few e-bikes sold today that go 15 miles an hour as the top speed, like that, uh, like that Jetson Bolt Pro maybe, or some of those tiny little e-bikes that are junky and nobody really wants to buy. So um, they need to change this uh, and allow uh, e-bikes on rail trails and bike paths. Um, and just set a speed limit on these paths. That is the... Um, uh, that is the best way to, uh, you know, uh, regulate any kind of e-biking out there. Just set a speed limit on these trails and make people obey just the regular rules of the road for any bike, any road bike or any e-bike as well. That's what we got to do here, guys. So go go, uh, make your voices heard. Uh, we need to stop this law. I guess it's being heard uh, January 30th, according to... Um, According to this guy here, uh, please review the bill details, voice your own opinion. Yeah, so get on this form here. I'll put a link in the description again and uh, go make your voices heard, guys. We have to stop legislation like this. E-bikes need to be free, and uh, particularly New Hampshire. Uh, live free or die. I mean, they don't want you to die on the roads because you can't use the rail trails. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay strong out there.